Hey Dodd Middle School, so nice to see you back today. Where we had left off last time was just on an introduction to the musculoskeletal system. Actually, it was more of an introduction on muscles than it was of anything else because we looked at three different kind of muscles. We said that we have skeletal muscle that moves our bones, smooth muscle that moves all sorts of things that we don't have to think about, including our food and our urine. And we even talked about cardiac muscle, which is your heart, which has the sole job of pushing blood throughout our bodies. So when it came to the concept of endurance, we brought that up with the skeletal muscle. We said skeletal muscle has relatively little endurance when it's compared to cardiac and smooth muscle. But I know that a lot of you are thinking, well, we run marathons and people swim the English Channel and all sorts of athletic feats of endurance. And absolutely, especially with years of training, we can get our muscles to be about as good as they can be. However, there is still a point at which they have to take a rest. So therefore, we're gonna explore that concept today about how quickly our muscles can tire under certain conditions. So to help us explore that concept that our skeletal muscle doesn't have a ton of endurance compared to our smooth and cardiac muscle, we're gonna send it over to Dr. Silas. See you back in a minute, bye-bye. Nice to see you again. Well, let's get started on the first of a few challenges we're going to do today. All right, are you ready for the first challenge? Good. Well, the first challenge, you're going to need a Chromebook, a timer, and a wall. All right, and so what you're going to do with those is you're going to use the Chromebook as a weight and a timer to see how long you can hold up your Chromebook. I'm going to give you a few details on how that must be done. So first, you are going to plant your shoulders and your back firmly against the wall. And they do not come off the wall throughout the entire exercise. And so therefore, what you will be doing next, I'm starting with my right hand. If you're right-handed, start with your right side. If you're left-handed, start with your left side. And so therefore, you're going to take the Chromebook first, right here like that. So you're still holding it with your four fingers. And it's still lined up on your forearm. Lift your elbow and then open it up so that the Chromebook is level with the floor and that your elbow is straight. You're going to hold the Chromebook straight out in front of you so that it doesn't dip down low and that you don't bend your elbow. You will find after a few moments this becomes quite difficult. So here we are for challenge number two. We're going to do the same exercise but this time with your other arm. All right, so same goes again, that we're going to grasp our Chromebook right here with our four fingers and then hold it straight out in front of us as our shoulders are firmly planted against the wall. Hold it up for as long as you can. So in the second half of our activities, we're going to use an object that's about 18 inches tall, like so. So I've chosen my body, the little animal here again. And so what we're going to do is we're going to place him on the floor. I'm going to place my hand on the wall for balance. So as we put our foot above the object on the floor, you're going to start the timer as you put your straight leg up over the object. Do not let your foot touch the object. Do not let your knee bend. Hold it up. Held it up as long as you can. All right, are you all ready for challenge number four? Challenge number four is again with our same 18 inch object. Here, my stuffed animal, but this time we're using our non-dominant leg. And so the non-dominant leg for me is my left side. So I'm going to place my stuffed animal on the floor. I'm going to put my hand on the wall for balance and I'm going to put a straight leg up and over the object and hold it there for as long as possible. And so just like with me, my leg is starting to hurt. So therefore, I don't know how much longer I can hold it for. I feel it starting to shake. I feel it starting to quiver. However, it's so difficult to hold it up much longer. I don't want to hurt him. I didn't hurt you this time. Oh, so glad I didn't hurt you. Oh, I'm getting very, very close to 
that time. Oh, I'm so sorry. I did not mean to hurt you. My little friend, are you okay? It's just fine. Thank you, Dr. Silas. So glad to see what great shape you got yourself into for this unit. All right, Dad, so let's take a look at how to finish this up. What we're hoping you did or are about to do is to time yourself doing four different activities, one with each arm and one with each leg. And so if you can get those times and seconds done, recorded on your document and also filled out on a Google form with a few other questions, then you're done. So feel free to invite your family to participate in this as well. What we're hoping to do is get as much data as possible. Invite your parents, invite your brother or sister to do the same activities. Perhaps your grandmother lives with you, but she can't do the leg ones. She can only do the arm ones. That's fine. Just fill out a new Google form for each family member that does these activities. So once you're done with that, you are all set for today. So hope you have a great day, guys. See you later. Bye-bye.